welcome back to the channel. Today we have a stacked unboxing from DP Club. This package is full to the brim. It is overflowing. Um, I opened it up like this so I could get a sneak peek so I can see what company sent me the package. But there's so many here. There's actually six in total, but there's so many fun ones. Some came where you can see a little bit. Some came where you can't see anything at all. So I'm excited to really dig into these and figure out what's what. Here are the drills to our first piece. There is a ton of black, like a lot of black. Um, and it came with a normal toolkit, but anyways, yeah, tons of black but let's try to take a look at one of these drills here this one looks good and wow you can really see the cuts on here they don't look too harsh but you can clearly see a bunch of cuts in that it will reflect like a diamond shape like towards the top it, they come to like a point um, more than I've seen in other drills. I usually I see like rounded points, but this one seems more pointy. So that's good. And looking at all the drills, I don't really see too many misshapen ones. Like there's a, a few, but not really. And yeah, the cuts are the same throughout all the drills. So that's great. And I didn't see not one hitchhiker. That's crazy. And here is our diamond painting. It is Miss Moana with the heart of Tafiti. And it comes with a total of a bunch of colors. 18 colors, only 18 colors. Um, we can see why that there's not too many colors. It's mostly black. It is a 30 by 40. And I think that's canvas size, but I can't be too sure. And let's look at the drill field. One thing I noticed was down here. It looks like some sort of misprint. Like they messed up the print in that W there. But that's one W out of a million on this piece. So that's really not bad. And you can still see it's W, which is what's most important. Everywhere else looks pretty good. Yeah, there's not really guide circles. Well, yeah, there's not guide circles, but there's a circle sh shape of the color that goes there. And look at it, there's tons of color blocking. So yeah, I think this piece looks really nice. And time to look at the next one. Here are the... Th the thrills here are the drills to our next piece um there's a lot of 310 you can see in the back and there's like pinks and blues um i like these two colors they came organized by dmc code not by the trains and let's try to take a closer look these drills seem to be just like the last ones um there's a lot of cuts and they come to like a pointed round top um, not too many misshapen ones. They don't seem to be connected together or anything. Like maybe right there, but probably not. It came with a normal toolkit with baggies and an inventory sheet. So somebody manually went through and made sure that they were all here. Oh, and there's the picture of the diamond painting. Here is the diamond painting. Um, it flattened out all right. The last one flattened out a lot better. But it is Alice from Alice in Wonderland. You can see the, the Cheshire Cat up at the top and the rabbit at the bottom. The one that's late, I don't know his name. But yes, and over here, we can see that it comes with a total of 20 colors. For only 20 colors, I feel like they're nicely placed. Like, for so much detail in a 30 by in a 30 by 40 painting, um, 
you have to be strategic with where you're going to place only 20 colors. And I feel like they did a good job with it. But yeah, so this is our second painting. Our next time painting him the normal toolkit. And it flattened out super nicely. Look how flat this is. So very nice. It is a 30 by 40. And it comes with a total of... 24 colors and here they are I didn't want to go too in depth with the drills because we just did with the last two and it seemed pretty consistent but here are our colors the only inconsistency is how the drills come packaged um the first ones came in like train form second ones came organized by GMC and these come in baggies with a cute little diamond on it. So the drills come differently, but they all seem to be good quality. And look how cool this diamond painting is. It's a little astronaut in space, doing space things. Um, let's see how sticky it is. That's something we haven't checked yet. Oh yeah, that's sticky enough. That'll hold your drills down for sure. That'll definitely hold your drills. Okay. And let's take a close look at the drill field. There's a good amount of color blocking in here, um, but there's also not color blocking. There's also kind of confetti and planets. Um, but that just means that the plans are going to have more detail, which is pretty cool. There's not really any guide circles. So you have to be pretty precise with your placement. Here's a bunch of confetti and the astronaut. I wonder what he's holding. Is he holding like a star? Or the... S not the sun, because the sun's up here. It's a glowing ball. One thing that might be hard is in here, it's mixed with D's and B's. And they're all like the same color. So you just have to use your light pad, keep your eye open for those. And, you know, place them accordingly. But other than that, it's a nice painting. Let's move on to our next one. Here are the colors to the next piece. There's lots of greens and a hitchhiker in there. And whites and some darker colors as well. Oh no, our train! A lot of green. Some beige. Oh, another hitchhiker in there. So we're seeing some hitchhikers now. Our train is a failure. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of nice colors. We have tons of green, we saw earlier, that's in tons of black. Well, not tons of black, but a solid amount of black. And here is our diamond painting. It is a 30 by 40 and it is Pokemon. So let me know in the comments below if you know these Pokemon's names names um i know them i'm just testing you and it says let's be friends in cursive at the bottom um usually i try to stay away from nine paintings that have words on them because i don't trust them but i decided to go for this one because it was super cute and i love pokemon but it comes with a total of 22 colors which is the most we've seen so far today um i think the last one had 22 as well but yeah it's kind of surprising that it has that many colors because it looks like it's just a lot of green but there's a lot of detail in the grass looking at the grass 
Um, V's and A's look kind of similar, but it's not that bad. They're pointing opposite directions. And yeah, you can see all the detail that's going to be in the grass. You can also see the glitter on the canvas. Look, it is a glittery canvas. Love that. Yes, there will be detail there. Let's see how sticky it is. Oh yeah, that's pretty sticky. That will definitely hold your drills. The stickiness seems to be consistent between all the diamond paintings we've tried. So yeah, that is our fourth diamond painting. We have two more to go. Our next diamond painting came with a bunch of darker colors. Um, also some pinks there and some blues and a few white as well but mostly darker colors it is here this is the diamond painting um you can see what it is but it's like a huge planet over some girl i'm pretty sure because it looks like she has hair reading under a dead tree so I thought that was pretty cool. I, I just really liked the picture itself. Um, it's a 30 by 40, all of these are. And it has a good amount of color blocking. Um, I wish there was kind of more dimension maybe here, like there is in the top of the image, but it is all probably 310s because they're, they're just J's. That was hard to say for some reason. Um, let's look over here. Uh, how many colors we have and J's are not 310s. I was wrong. They're 939 um, We have a total of 19 colors and I didn't see any 310s. There's 317 but no 310 So out of all of these colors all the dark ones, there's no black Isn't that crazy? I thought for sure there would be black, but I was I was wrong. I'm looking at the drill field. Oh, it looks very nicely printed. And you can see some glitter on there. Not a, too much, but it looks real nice. Here's a little bit of a crazier area. And it still looks pretty nice. The E's are a little bold, I guess, but really not bad. Just bold compared to the other ones. They're not really guide circles, and I like how the H's are printed in yellow. It really helps them stand out with their color and from the J's and E's and K's. K's probably should be printed in white, since it's on such a dark background, but similar to the J's here. But other than that, it looks real nice. So on to our last one. This piece comes with a lot of browns in cool tones and like neutrals so those are all of the colors it comes with and now for our final diamond painting i think this will flatten eventually but this is our final diamond painting it says you mess with the meow meow you get the piao piao probably just like pow pow but either way i thought this was so funny um, I just had to get it. The cat looks so angry too. Why are you so mad? And he has little guns. And I don't know how you feel about guns. But I'm not going to get into that conversation right now. This is just diamond painting. Um, It's a 30 by 40. And it comes with a total of 19 colors. And let's take a close look at the drill field. It looks like these words are really going to be defined and actually illegible. I got two diamond paintings that have words on them today. Like That's me overcoming the fear that you won't be able to read it. So thank you, DP Clubs, for helping me overcome my word fear. Um, I really hope this one flattens out. It's not necessarily flat right now um 
but with the heavy item, it should be fine. And looking close, there's so much detail everywhere, like even in the lining of the cat's belly. There's so many different colors. Um, I don't know what happened there. It looks like just some texturing on the cat, but it doesn't really go along with any like drill color, if that makes sense. But yeah, this whole piece is, I don't wanna say confetti, but it basically is confetti because it's not really color blocking except for the cat itself. Wow, it's gonna look so good. I'm excited for it. So yeah, that is our final diamond painting. We got so many amazing and fun diamond paintings today. So that was a super fun to unbox. But unfortunately, that's all I have for you guys today, besides our shout out. And today's shout out is going to Kelly Leonard. Thank you so much for watching and for everybody else, make sure you're subscribed for a chance to be featured in next week's video. And I'll see you all next time.